Guys, this is already Techie, and in today's video, we'll be doing an unboxing of the cheapest wireless gaming mouse I found on Amazon, and it comes with an rechargeable battery as well. So, stay tuned, and I'll see you on the other side of the intro. So I was looking through Amazon and this thing popped up on my feed and I was like, whoa, that is very cheap. This came out at about 890 rupees, which is about 11 to $12. It's a rechargeable wireless mouse. It's a gaming mouse, has buttons all over the place. I believe it has DPI adjustment. So we'll be digging into this box right here. Don't have the table anymore. So we're gonna kind of have to, you know, hold it and cut it into it. But that's easy enough because it's a very light box, it's not very heavy. Even though it's a very big box, I can actually, you can see there's a lot of empty space in there. So we're just gonna cut right into the um, packaging here. The price of the product was very cheap, considering the gaming mouse in general, wired gaming mouse, uh, mice, mouses? Those things cost about uh, 1,500 or about 1,000 rupees, at least north of 1,000 rupees. You have the wireless mouses from Logitech, mice from Logitech and stuff, but they're not the gaming kind. They don't have buttons on the side. They don't have a DPI adjustment thing. So the, I take, I've just gone through the box. It's literally the big box you see right here to hold this one, which is like this tiny box. It is the Offbeat Rift Jaw. That is the name of the mouse. I'm not holding it upside down. Perfect. And uh, it's by, the, the company name is Offbeat. And it says, Wireless Rechargeable Professional Gaming Mouse. If you wanna be a gaming professional, this is the mouse for you. But all kidding aside, I think it's a very good deal at the price. Now the max retail price it's given, if I can find it, is $14.99, it's 1,400, 1,500 rupees, which is about $20. Yeah, $20, $22, $25. Um, but it's on sale on Amazon for around 890, less than 900 rupees. So definitely worth a look if you're in the market. But we're gonna open her up and uh, let's see what we got. We have the mouse and a cord and this uh, user manual. That's it. That's all you get. You have the user manual, which tells you stuff. So it has, if I just look at the manual, I'm gonna put the box here so I don't drop it. So it has two buttons on the side. It has the DPI adjusting thing. So you have the two buttons and the DPI adjustment and the scroll wheel. That's pretty much it. So that's interesting. Um, it says the response time is less than one MS. I don't think I'll notice MS or any kind of like that kind of difference. I'm not OP enough to do that, but this is the mouse. I'm kind of surprised there's no seal. It has the steel plate. It's uh, it's very, it's got like a rubbery finish, like a smooth rubber finish for the clicks. And one of the features that it said is a silent click. And it had a picture of a lady sleeping. So in case you have somebody in the room who is sleeping and your clicks tend to wake them up. I mean, I have a mechanical keyboard, so if anyone's in my room, they'll hear it. But if you want to do that, you have this uh, option. And the battery is rechargeable, and the scroll wheel seems like an infinite scroll wheel. I love that. That is something I've been spoiled with thanks to the Red Dragon mouse I'm using currently, and I really enjoy it. So that's, that's going to be interesting. So this is... It feels nice. The... Buttons are a little soft. I think they took the whole quiet click and you can kind of feel like it's a little sticky. Like, I don't know if you can see that. If I do this, it takes, there's like a delay for it to pop back up. Of course, it doesn't happen when I show you. But either way, there is, you know, you get what you pay for, for 900 rupees. It's not gonna be exceptional. Quality, but the soft clicking I don't like I like a you know I like to know that it's been clicked you know I, when I do the clicking I mean to click and then uh, these buttons on the side are a little too soft for my taste as well it's just a little too 
there's a little too much flex. When I press one, the other one actually goes down a bit. So I don't know if that's gonna cost anything. So moving on to the cord and the receiver. Very straightforward. The cord is tiny from what I can tell at least without undoing it, but we'll do that. So this is the receiver of the um, mouse. It's a typical, you know, USB receiver you'll see come across. So I'm gonna put that on the table there, I don't, you know. And uh, this is the cord. I'm gonna undo the cord. Right, so not the longest cord, but it's for recharging. You know, it's not to use it, so that's okay. So I don't know if you'll be able to use if you're on a like a setup like a mon a laptop setup, this cord will be enough to plug it in, and keep using while it charges. But uh, in my case, that's the PC right here. You can see it's not gonna make the mouse usable while charging. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does have this cycling RGB thing going within the colors. It cycles through it as soon as you plug it in. I wish it did it with the DPI thing, but it does have RGB if that's on your list of something you want on your gaming mouse. All the details of this uh, mouse, the price, all the details will be given in the description as well. And you have the features pop up right here or here. Here, probably here yeah so um, I think that's it for the unboxing I will be doing a review down the line I'll compare this to my uh, red dragon which is a, a little more pricey it comes up at around I think it was around 1,500 rupees but that's wired so you're you know this is a wireless one and it's rechargeable I like that I hate batteries I hate dealing with batteries on wireless mice 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 Someone's got to look that thing up. But anyways, um, that's it for the video. This is the Offbeat Ripjaw gaming mouse, wireless and rechargeable. I will give you my impressions on it on a video down the line. So if you want to keep in, keep in the loop, stay in the loop. Uh, hit that subscribe button and share with your friends if they're considering buying this thing. There are some noticeable issues right off the bat. But that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for the support on YouTube. It's been amazing and uh, this is something I do for the fun of it. I've never really done YouTube. I did used to do YouTube as a gamer, but uh, I stream on Twitch now if you haven't. Uh, the link over there. And... Um, yeah, it's really nice to have uh, an outlet to do this kind of geeky stuff. And uh, thank you all for the continued support. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is RD Techie saying goodbye. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Wash your hands if you're coming back. Well, just wash your hands. And if you do go out, wear a mask. That's the least you can do. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.